For me, IVF is both a miracle and also just the most brutal, painful process that I think any um, aspiring parents can go through. I was blown away by how many people are going through the same thing. Um, I'm, I, I know that it's not just me. I know that I'm not in this alone, but I think infertility is just such an isolating disease. We started Luminova in order to address the problem of infertility, which affects 15% of couples worldwide. Today, IVF success rates are only 30%, which means only one out of three cycles leads to a baby. We're taking technology here at Harvard to develop non-invasive diagnostic techniques that will be able to assess eggs and embryos in terms of their quality and which makes them the best candidates for in vitro fertilization success. What makes us so passionate at Luminova is that we see a field where there hasn't been much innovation taking place. Things haven't changed that much in the industry and we really feel that a simple technology like ours can really make a huge impact. My involvement with Luminova began after Dan Needleman and I started to work together to understand how we might be able to measure the metabolism of embryos. And we've done some work in the mouse and we are very excited to start translating that work now into the human. Our technology would represent a huge advance because it can directly measure the metabolic state of the embryo to help clinicians choose the healthiest ones. While in vitro fertilization itself as a procedure is an amazing uh, discovery and advance in science over the past 30 years, there have been few tools that are truly non-invasive that have significantly impacted the success rates of IVF since the original test tube baby. One of the things that we are particularly focusing on is avoiding multiple pregnancies. If we can select the best embryo, only implant one, and lead to a single birth as opposed to multiple, we can save a lot of costs, but also give much better health to the mother and eventual baby. The only way we can do that is to develop technology that will allow us to identify that single best embryo. We measure fluorescence signals of molecules that are in the cell already, that are essential for metabolism. Since we can distinguish between different metabolic states, we uh, should be able to identify which ones have normal versus abnormal metabolisms, uh, which is currently invisible to current methods, but essential for viability. We entered the Dean's Health and Life Sciences Challenge really to coalesce our team around the story of what Luminova was hoping to bring to patients to get connected to all the great mentors who were involved in the program that could help us build our business. I personally was very excited that it was the Bertarelli Prize because Bertarelli has been heavily involved in the fertility space for so long and that fits so nicely with what Luminova is trying to do. Winning the Bertarelli Prize was a great accelerator for Luminova. We are using the proceeds from that prize to engage with high-level regulatory attorneys to help us figure out our roadmap to market. The future of Luminova is very bright. A lot of these initial studies that we're doing are coming back with very positive results. So the plan forward is to get more investment, build the company, uh, and hopefully get into the clinic as fast as possible and start impacting patients. If we can improve IVF success rates by 10%, that's a huge step forward. Think about it. 10 more people in every 100, then we'll be able to conceive, whereas before they wouldn't have been able to. What we want to do is help as many patients as possible achieve the dream of parenthood. Any technology that could help more women um, achieve their dream of becoming parents, um, women and men, would, would just be, is so needed. I think the technology is so important and people working on it, I mean that, that does give you a little glimmer of hope.